Hey, it's Mike here, and today, Buttergate, or at least the dairy industry fail that people are calling Buttergate because people like to put the word gate after things, so we're gonna investigate this gate. And there really is a interesting scientific explanation behind why this happened, why this Canadian dairy mishap happened, but let's just hop right into it. You know, Buttergate sounds like some Canadian dairy farmer decided to make a gate out of butter, didn't quite hold the cows in, the cows got lost. Maybe that was it. No, it was actually that the butter was suspiciously hard. Now this butter's been out for 24 hours. And it still makes for tough spreading. Had people across Canada saying, oh, my butter's hard. Well, that's darn inappropriate, bud. So why were some butters across Canada denser than others? Well, the secret ingredient was palm oil in the feed. From this BBC article, quote, the Dairy Farmers of Canada lobbying group asked that while their investigation is ongoing, milk producers consider alternatives to palm supplements. You know when the lobbyists are telling you to cut back? That's when you effed up. You know, and that is just a precaution to ensure that consumers maintain confidence in dairy products across Canada. It turns out as people were baking more during lockdown, the dairy farmers wanted to produce more butter and they know that they can do that by adding some palm oil supplement to the feed. And so the question becomes, why would that actually make the butter harder? As my Canadian friend, Jim, who told me about this story correctly guessed, shout out to Jim, it was the extra saturated fat that made the butter harder. Butter is already solid at room temperature due to its high saturated fat content. And from Iowa State University, quote, coconut palm and palm kernel oils are solid at room temperature because they have high amounts of saturated fatty acids. In the US at least, dairy is the main source of saturated fat. But in terms of a cow, what they're actually eating, their diet is low saturated fat. It's grass and other plants, but then they're able to create some saturated fat and increase the concentration of saturated fat in their milk. But then by adding a high saturated fat, that food like palm oil, even though it doesn't even have as much saturated fat as butter, it then can easily allow the cow to raise the saturated fat content of the milk and produce some more milk in general. But this is not a new practice and we actually have research we can look to on this for fatty acid profiles of milk with and without palm oil. From this 2007 study, all levels of palm oil they tested in terms of feeding the cows increased milk fat from 3.44 to about 3.95%, which might not seem like a ton, but it's not just about increasing the fat, it's about increasing the ratio of saturated fat and lowering non-saturated fats. As one might assume, we see a 50% increase in a particular saturated fat known as palminic acid. 44% of the fat that is in palm oil is palmitic acid. And it makes sense why a cow's body would do this. Why put all that energy into creating saturated fats when you can simply just take that palm fat and move it into your milk? And I saw some experts on Buttergate articles wondering if it would be less healthy to eat this particular hard butter. And the answer, in my opinion, it is less healthy because saturated fat increases cholesterol, increases the chance of heart attacks and the amount of buildup in your arteries so obviously higher saturated fat is gonna be worse. Butter is still the worst. Under that is coconut oil, according to studies like this one, and palm oil, pretty comparable. So obviously raising the saturated fat is gonna increase the risk of heart disease. But there is one benefit, which was kind of a funny artifact of this situation in terms of the fatty acid profile. You see about a 30% lowering in trans fats. They were more or less replaced by some palm oil fats, probably. But I also wanna mention, I don't want anybody to come away from this thinking, oh, well, palm oil sounds really unhealthy. It actually is less healthy than butter. Well, that is not the case, first of all. The saturated fat content is a little bit lower in palm oil. Could argue that palm oil has a slightly better fat profile in terms of some other fats, like polyunsaturated fat. But the point is they're both higher on the saturated fat spectrum, but butter is worse. Neither are health foods. Again, butter's worse. I also think this Globe and Mail article is funny saying that the dairy producers breached a moral contract with Canadians. Well, did you, did you think about the little maybe moral contract with cows? Now, whether or not the butter is gross and hard or not, the life of a dairy cow is hard and large scale dairy production requires the repeated separation of calves from their mothers. So not good. And then you know that these large scale dairy industry people are definitely sourcing palm oil poorly. You might be familiar with palm oil and the Sumatran rainforest and how it destroys orangutan habitats and ends up killing orangutans. It's all really bad because orangutans are like my favorite animal and they're amazing and they're super smart and cute as well. That is also a point in their favor. 
Now, even sustainable palm oil can be greenwashed. So it goes without saying that when you're feeding through some back end down the food supply chain, this palm oil to these cows, they do not care where it comes from. This is probably some of the highest impact dairy that <laughs> exists. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. So even as the butter gate closes and butter returns to its normal softness, <laughs> Uh, it's clearly still the main source of saturated fat in the diet along with other dairy products. So not healthy, not good for your heart and palm oil in general, also not good. So these are two bad things that came together to create another bad thing. Finally, out of algorithmic curiosity and the desire to cover more topics, to keep more people interested in this channel, I have made several shorter videos for this week. So hopefully you like them. I will be wearing the same shirt and have the exact same hair. So don't be shocked. All right, that's for today. Feel free to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon.